guys, we're up to day seven in our 30 songs in 30 days lesson series. And today we're going to reach back into my Fuse album and play a little song called Cop Car. This song is really fun to play. It's also going to help us fill out our knowledge on bar chords. Plus we'll start learning the location of some of the notes on the guitar. Let's go. Last time around we discussed how your E chord... <laughs> E open major could be turned into a bar chord just by using your little three fingers to press the strings and your first finger as a bar, meaning this. We also talked about how this chord shape can be moved all over the neck to play a major chord on every fret. All the way up the neck. The great thing is, this same concept works on the 5th string. However, instead of your open E chord, we'll start with the open A chord. Now remember, the first string is played open. The third finger is placed on the 2nd string of the 2nd fret. Your 2nd finger is placed on the 3rd string at the 2nd fret. And the 1st finger is placed on the 4th string at the 2nd fret. The fifth string is played open. That's the A in our A major chord. That's your A string, so it's played open. There's A major. Now, the lower sixth string, it's not played at all, otherwise it sounds like this. We don't want that. We just want this. So the best thing is, you can either use a finger to mute it, but really the easy way to do it is to only strum from that string, the fifth string, all the way down. Now, let's pull the same type of shift we use to turn our open E chord into a bar chord. Instead of using your first three fingers for A, these fingers here, you press down on those same three strings with your third finger, meaning this. Using your first finger as our bar, we can now move the shape all over the neck. So here's your A chord played with the third finger. And this is where you use your finger to make the bar. And again, if you start moving that all the way up, you're making different chords every time. trick. Make sure to mute the sixth string with the tip of your first finger. Then you just go after it. Now I'm not muting this sixth string here. I'm choosing to pick from the A string all the way down. But if you want, you can use this bar finger to mute this, as in this. There's the bar finger, and if you push it up against the E string, it's muted. So, if you do that, you can then play all six strings like this. Because this is muted. You just feel what's easier for you. Now that you know how to play bar chords on the 6th and 5th strings, it's a good time to start learning some of the notes on those strings so you know what bar chords you're playing. The musical alphabet uses letters. It goes from A to G and then starts at A again. The guitar does the same thing. Let me show you. Let's start with the 6th string. Remember your E chord? It's an E major open chord. Now the bass note on that chord is the 6th string. Right? is the note of E. Remember your F major? That's your bar chord shape with the bass note being played on the first fret of the sixth string, like this. That's F major. That first fret on the sixth string is your F. So we have E and the E chord and F and the F chord. 
Then we move to G, which is two up from there. There's G. Now you keep the same bar chord shape. Here's F. Slide up two. One, two. There's G. There's the bass note. On the third fret, and it's your G. Now, notice that we're starting to walk up the alphabet. E, F, G. So next up, let's move two steps up, and of course we land at A, A major. A major bar chord on the fifth fret. Here's G. Move up two. There's A. Of course, the bass note on that fifth fret is A. E, F, G, A. Now, you'll notice that we got to G, and then we went back to the beginning of the musical alphabet, starting with A. E, F, G, and then we got to A again. And next up is B. That's on the seventh fret. Here's A. There's B. And of course, you can use the same bar chord shape with your index finger on the 7th fret to play a B major chord. So we've got A, B, and the next up, of course, is, you got it, C. Right here, on the 8th fret. This is C. Keep the same shape, bar chord, as you had on B. Slide it up one fret. And you're at C major. There it is. So we've got E. Add the bar chord. F. G. A. B. One fret. C. If you got two more frets, one. Two. That's D. A, B, C, D. And of course, if you move it up two more, you're at E. There you are, all the way up the neck. E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E. Ta-da! <laughs> Okay, let's move now through the fifth string. Let's start with our open position A chord. Now, we've been playing it like this, but for the purposes of what we're about to do with bar chords, it'd be good to play it with just the one finger position like this. If you can do that, it's gonna help us with our bar chords as we go up the neck. So there's A major. The fifth string is left open because that's the A string. Now, if you move up two frets and bar here with this finger, that's B. A. B. Next up is C. We're only going to slide up one space because, as you remember, that's A, B, and C is there. So that's the C bar chord. C major, bar chord, right there. The bass note in that chord, the third fret on the fifth string, is C. Next up after A, B, and C is, of course, D. That's on the fifth fret. So there's C. We've got two more frets to the fifth one. That's D. Now you remember your D chord. That's your D open chord. D major open chord. And you'll notice that the bass note there is the fourth string that's open. Because you've got E, A, D. So that one's open. Well, this open D string on the fourth string can also be played on the fifth string fifth fret up here. That's the same note as this string. And 
that's how we get our D bar chord. That's your D right there. So just to review, A, B, C, and D. Now there are some of the notes on the fifth string. Now, I know we've thrown a lot at you in the last little bit, but I do have one last thing to talk about in order to fill in the gaps. And you'll notice that sometimes when we played our notes, we moved up two frets, leaving a space in between, as in C, two frets, D, two frets, E, etc. Those spaces that we skipped over are where you'll find your sharp and flat notes. So let's focus on sharps for a second. If we start, for example, at G, it's a G note, and move up one fret, we find ourselves at G sharp. Sharp is just a half step up from where you are, meaning here to here, that's what I call a whole step. Two frets. That's a whole step. So a half step is, and that's where you get your sharp notes. G, G sharp. And flats, of course, are the opposite. They're the ones right below. You're going flat of where you are. So here's your G. Below it, that's G flat. So G, G flat. G, G sharp. Let's go to the A, which is the 5th fret on the 6th string. Right there. Now an A flat would be down, of course, 1 fret, like this. There you go, there's your A flat. Now you know how to find your sharps and flats. A, A sharp, A, A flat. And did you notice what we just did? Let's go back to the G sharp. How did we get there? G, G sharp. You've moved up one fret to the fourth fret. It's G sharp. That's G sharp. Okay, now let's find out A flat. Hmm, how did we get there? We find our A, and we move down one fret to the fourth. They're the same note. Of course. No, no, it's not a mistake. There's a good reason in music theory as to why frets have two different names. But let's not get bogged down in all of that right now. All you really need to know is that there are, in fact, multiple note names for each fret. So that's the story with sharps and flats. Up one fret to find the sharp, down one fret for the flat. Don't worry if there's another name already assigned to the fret. For the most part, it can still be referred to as the sharp of the note below or the flat of the note above. Meaning if we're in G, the sharp is G sharp. If we're in A, the note below A is going to be referred to as A flat. Okay, let's get to our song. We're going to play Cop Car using three bar chords, and we'll use the same progression for the intro, the verse, and the chorus. Three chords, one progression, and we got ourselves a song. The three bar chords we'll be using are F sharp, C sharp, and G sharp. Now that we've learned how to find the sharp notes on the fretboard, let's do it. F sharp is up first. So let's just go to our F chord. That's F. It's our F note. Right there. First fret on the sixth string. F. Let's slide up one fret. And then we have F sharp. Put the bar chord shape on it, like this. Ta-da! <laughs> and we have our first chord. F sharp. And next up is C sharp. So let's go to our C chord. We'll find our C note on the fifth string, third fret. That's it right there. Let's slide up one fret. 
and that's C sharp. Now, since we're on the fifth string, we need to use the bar chord shape that we just learned for the fifth string. First finger down like a bar, with the third finger flattened over the fourth, third, and second strings, like this. Now, personally, I play these bar chords using my pinky finger. So, some of these chords you can just experiment and see what works best for you. This one's probably not going to work. <laughs> but somewhere here, you'll find the shape that fits best. Last is our G sharp. So, let's go to our G chord. There's G, G major. And here we are at the sixth string, third fret. That's our G note. So, moving up one fret. That's our G sharp. Now let's put down our bar chord shape to make our G sharp major. You got it. Those are our chords. F sharp. C sharp. Or. However it feels better for you. And G sharp. Fantastic. You're doing great. Now the strumming pattern for this song is going to be a little different. It might be a little challenging, especially when you're singing over it. Now that's because we'll be changing chords on an upbeat or an offbeat. Here's an easy way to count it. Count one, two, three, four but add an AND in the middle of 2 and 3, like this. 1, 2, AND, 3, 4. 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 That's it. That's the chord progression, and hopefully that helps you get started on that song. Here's how the song is built. First the intro, next the verse, we do right best, that no trespass and sign, sat on the tailgate, watch the planes take off. Thought we had all that, there's no need to rush That's when those cops came pulling up I thought, man, ain't this so much And then we got the pre-chorus, which is Your dad is gonna kill me But if I survive tonight I wouldn't change one thing Baby, I know it sounds crazy Next up is the chorus. But there was something about the way the blue lights were shining, bringing out the freedom in your eyes. Was too busy watching you go and watch out to the what about going to jail? You were thinking that running for it, make a good story, was thinking you were crazy as hell. You were so innocent, you were stealing my heart, fell in love in the back of a cop car. is a verse, finally a pre-chorus, and a chorus. And remember, it all uses the same chord progression. Hey guys, this is Cop Car. Gonna kill me, but if I survive. 
have tonight I wouldn't change one thing Baby, I know it sounds crazy There was something in the way you blue eyes were shining Bringing out the freedom in your eyes I was too busy watching you going wild child To be worried about going to jail You were thinking that running for it would make a good story I was thinking you were crazy yourself But you were so On quick, you tried to sweet talk him. You didn't fall for it, but I did. You were on the left, I was on the right. I knew you didn't smoke when you asked him for a light. And I laughed. You got mad and slammed the door. Your daddy's gonna kill me. But if I survive tonight, I wouldn't change one. Sounds crazy, but there was something in the way your blue eyes were shining, bringing out the freedom in your eyes. I was too busy watching you go wild, shout to be worried about going to jail. You were thinking that running for it would make a good story. I was thinking you were crazy yourself, and you were so innocent, but you were stealing my heart. I fell in love in the back of a cop car. Go fall in love. Still in my heart, I fell in love. 